Welcome back Tactics here and today we are going to see how to install the Bloodline mod. Yeah! So, um, this was kind of funny in a way, like it took me quite a bit of time to figure out how to uh, install it due to the fact that it is in Russian. So before we even start uh, the installation process you must know two things. First of all, the mod right now is only in Russian. Okay, there is no English uh, version. They say they are working on it, but for now there is only a uh, Russian version. And the second thing that you must know is that, as you can see here, it does not work with the Steam version. So if you have the Dawn of War Steam version, you might like it says in most cases it uh, it doesn't work but there are of course some exceptions more or less but I'm going today to install the CD version so yeah no Steam version you can also try it like try on the Steam what you see today but I cannot guarantee that it will work okay so let's go back up here so the first thing you want to do is to go into, well, before before even that, you must uh, do s some stuff. First of all, you need to, as I said, install the CD version of Dawn of War Soulstorm. And I also updated to the latest patch, 1.2. I don't know how that, how important that is, but I did it, so I would suggest you do the same. So, after that, make sure you have a vanilla version, okay? This mod does not like um, other modification, other third party uh, stuff. Basically, you can't have other mods with this one. Because it, this is more, like, a lot more, it changes a lot more than all the other mods that I have installed till now. So, basically, you need a vanilla version of uh, Soulstorm. And uh, remember, it will become Russian, so you might want to back up your Dawn of War Soulstorm uh, installation. Okay, so after you install the Dawn of War Soulstorm and uh, you have the latest patch and it's vanilla, you want to go into the description of the video and click on the link. I will probably leave a link to this main page. And once you are here, where you have this very cool uh, video of Bloodline, yeah! Uh, you want to scroll down till you get to this over here. Okay, so, uh, and also the current version of the Bloodline that we are installing is 0.98.9. And so, as you can see, here you have an uh, installation. Sadly, it's not the best English, and I'm, <laughs> I know, right? I'm like, yeah, my accent and what, what not is not the British or whatever. Or, but yeah, it's kind of a Google Translate uh, English, as you can see, and sometimes it can be a bit difficult to understand. But don't worry, I'll show you how to install. But if you need some uh, text like uh, to see how to install, you can always check this thing out. So, the first thing we uh, you want to do is go scroll down, and I mean like uh, till here, and you will see here a torrent file. So click on that, it will open a media file, basically a blank page, and it will automatically start do uh, downloading a torrent file. So in order to get the, I guess this is the main mod, you need to have either a BitTorrent or a uTorrent or whatever. And it's a 3 gigs um, installation, it's so bigger almost than the <laughs> base game. So it, this mod is quite, quite... Uh, there you go. Yeah, that's what she said. Okay, I couldn't raise it. Anyways, um, even though it's kind of uh, insulting to myself, but doesn't matter. So, uh, this is, uh, so you need to download the torrent file, and after you've done that, you want to download the latest version, namely Bloodline 0 0.98.9. 
and you open this and it will open uh, this screen as you can see from yeah, like yadsk okay so it will open this and you just click on download over here this button and it will automatically start direct download and once you yeah so basically it will download where you what wherever you set your chrome to like the default folder okay so once uh, you downloaded both of the folders you want to do the uh, the wanna well i'm going to leave chrome for now open because there are some specification that uh, you need to remember and this will help a lot Okay, so we'll leave this window and you want to go to where you downloaded those two files. So the main one, the torrent file, will look like this Warhammer 40k mod. Okay, and it will, if you open it, you'll have all uh, those uh, files in it. And the, uh, the Yadi SK will look like this the bloodline, it's an exe. And as you can see, I also have a Dawn of War Soulstorm. This is basically my Dawn of War Soulstorm Vanilla. I just copied and I recommend you do the same. Just in case something goes wrong and you might need a backup. So you don't have to reinstall everything. And I really suggest you backup your installation. So let's see. As, uh, it's, as they say over here, even before installing, we need to do something. So go to your uh, Dawn of War vanilla installation. So Dawn of War Soulstorm. Mine is installed over here. And the first thing you need to do is to rename the folder. So you want to rename the folder into Warhammer 40k. And I'm going to leave this in the description. So that you can easily copy and paste, or you might just uh, open this page and have it. Like I, I would suggest while installing the mod, you should also have this page open, so that it will. This will be a lot easier for you. Okay, so let's rename and uh, paste. So there we have the Warhammer 40k, right? So we re renamed the folder over here and the next thing is to select, so let's see, press control and now select DXP2 engine graphic options and W40K and press uh, shift delete. This will basically immediately delete the files without even going to recycle bin. If, uh, like, yeah, I usually like to do that. You can press delete if you uh, find that you might need them later on. But yeah, you need to delete those files as you can see right here. So yet again, I repeat, DXP2 engine graphic options and W40K. So, once you've done all of those things, you want to go back to where you install, like where you downloaded the files and go into Warhammer 40k mod folder. And then you'll see here a setup, Warhammer 40k setup. Click on that and hopefully I'll be fast enough. Fingers crossed. Okay. Fingers crossed, please, please be fast. Okay, come on. Oh no, okay, perfect. So there is music here and yeah. You know, YouTube and music does not mix, especially if it's copyrighted or something like that. So yeah. So this is of course in Russian, the, this installer, but uh, yeah, if you don't understand, just do what I do. So click on this one and then this one and now you need to select. Uh, for me it automatically selected the, the folder but if you it, if it doesn't uh, if it doesn't select uh, automatically for you you want to just click on that button and select the main directory so Warhammer 40k. So that's the main uh, file for the game. Okay, then you just, uh, and also make sure it will install there, it's very important. 
So now I will click on this one as well. I w <laughs> like I don't understand this Russian, so I wouldn't really bother with those options. And this is like uh, I usually don't want to have something like that. It's for the start menu or something. And I have no idea. I guess this is a shortcut or wh whatever. Okay, and th this is like, yes, and it should install. Okay, so I'm going to leave uh, it a bit because I kind of tried to install this and I had several issues. Okay, so I tried, this is like the fourth time I tried to make this video and also I'm trying to figure out why it doesn't work. And uh, like the first time, I mean the first time, like uh, the last time when I, when I uh, installed, I saw the logs. Like when something doesn't work, usually Don't War makes a log. And I saw that there was a localization problem. Basically, that's more or less language. So I uh, thought, well, it, basically most of you probably have the game in English, right? And this is a Russian version. So basically you have to change the language of Dawn of War Soulstorm into Russian. So now you ask yourself, how can I do that? Or Well, you'll see soon enough. There will be an error. Soon enough. Till then we can see how the emperor of humankind is looking at horrors while Sanguinius is lying there. Oh man, this this is an awesome picture. I really, really, it's awesome. You can like the artwork is awesome. So let's see. Hopefully there should be the error, and I guess there will be. Okay, there we go. So probably you will get this error if you don't have the the you know the Russian version of Dono War. So how do you solve that problem? Well, you go to your Dawn of War uh, folder, and as you can see, the problem here is uh, the region in in. Okay, so let's check that. This file, regions, and it will be configuration setting. You can check uh, it's uh, by clicking on property, and as you can see, it's an in in file. Okay, let's don't click on music. And if you open it, you'll see something like this, like global language. So as you can see, it's an English version. So how do you solve this? Well, I kind of found a very quick uh, way. I Maybe it's a bit, uh, I don't know, uh, not very orthodox. So it's more of an unorthodox way, but I kind of deleted it. Why? Because you will see soon enough that this will create a new one. So you want to go back to the installer and click retry. So retry. Don't abort or ignore. If you click on ignore, basically it will uh, not. It won't work. The mod won't start. That's uh, that's the problem. And suddenly it works. And as you can see, let's go back to the folder, uh, folder main folder, and as you can see there is a new in, in file here with language Russian. Okay, so basically now the game more or less, and it should uh, support, where is the, oh, okay, let's go back to here. Okay, not that, there we go. So now there you just have to wait. It's kind of a long installation and I think I'm going to pause the video. And once you install this you can already play the the mod, but I will also install the latest version. And yeah, we might need to work that part out because yeah I only uh, got till this point, you know, like uh, I just found this because the mod didn't want to start. There is a, uh, you start the mod, the mod with a loader and that loader wouldn't start the game. So once I did this, it uh, suddenly wanted to uh, work and that's awesome, I guess. 
So I, you either want to wait till the English version came, comes out and that will probably fix this problem. Because the basic pl problem is that this is uh, for the Russian version and not many people have the Russian version. I guess ma the majority of people that play Donald War, they play it in English. Hopefully, I'm, I'm not sure, but yeah. So, and if you have other languages, just do the same. It will probably work, hopefully. Okay, so, like, till, I guess, everything is set for the moment, and you just have to wait till the installation is done. So, I'm going to take, make a break, something, and we'll be back once this is done. So, see you in a bit. Okay, so, after ages, it finally finished in, uh, installing. So you'll have this uh, window, just click on that and I guess this one. I have no idea what that is, but yeah. Okay, so now there is a small problem. Due to the fact that there is not a lot of instructions, they do not specify what this is, like the fix. So I guess it's a fix, so let's let's install it. Why not? It, it did work after installing this, so I don't think there is a problem. So let's just find... Uh, okay, there we have it. The Warhammer 40k. And let's unroll over there. Yes to all. Perfect. So this is kind of done. And basically the last thing you want to do, as it's written here, you must rename the exe file. So the SoulStorm exe file must be renamed into Warhammer 40k. Okay, let's just do that. So it's the same name as the folder. So let's rename this. Okay, there we go. So basically, right now the mod already works more or less. If you click, you'll have this uh, file, the loader, and click on Warhammer 40k, it should probably start. But, but, there, uh, we are going to install the latest version here. So let's do exactly that. So once you've done all that stuff, go back to where you downloaded the files and click on Bloodline now. And be ready for, like you have to wait quite a while. Like, make some tea, coffee. Oh boy. So let's see if my 8 year old computer will load this or... Come on, you can do it. I have faith in you. Or maybe not. Hmm. That would be disappointing. Okay, so, oh, yes, please. And the good part is that this installer is in English. So, basically, you show where you want to install that. So it should be your main folder. So the problem right now is I don't know why it would, would uh, make this folder. Like it automatically will, be, will install in the folder shown below. Okay, so basically it automatically adds the bloodline mod folder. But I'm not sure if I really want to do that. For now, just to be safe, I'm going to uh, just install it in the main folder of the mod. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry if there might be a mistake or something, but usually, uh, yeah, the description does not touch on many of the subjects over here. It just says you should, uh, like, it doesn't touch on the latest version. This is only for the main installation. So, right now I'm just going on what I think it's best.
and I already know what it will create a folder with all the items, including the modules. So if I like my knowledge of mods is that the modules should be in the main directory. So hopefully it will work. So let's. Uh, oh man. Okay, let's do it. Okay, don't create that. So yet again, I guess we have to wait till. Yeah, it will take a, a while. So I guess I'm going to pause this one as well till it till it's done installing. So yet again, see ya in a bit. Wow, that that took a lot of time. As you can see here, you can check the clock. Like it changes wildly in the video. Oh my goodness, so yeah, there is a lot of stuff in this mod. So let's click, uh, so once it's done, click on finish. Okay, so basically I guess that means you kind of are done. Congratulations. So the next thing is uh, to of course start the mod. So I would suggest using this thing the loader you will find it in your don't know for uh so well warhammer 40k now a folder and click on that and you, uh, this window should pop up and here you can also control the ai and graphic configuration because this mod changes quite a lot of stuff so let's see what happens if i click on this hopefully we'll <laughs> we'll see you in game so here we are, I guess. So this is what uh, the thing has opened. And as you can see, oh, everything is written in Russian. And let's see. Uh, I do want to get uh, to... Uh, this is, I guess, this is the game manager. Okay. So as you can see, we have uh, four things. And one of those things is Blar Line. You can, of course, uh, uh, play with all those but I really want to see if uh, I properly install the latest version so let's click on this and see what's, what happens oh yes finally man and look at this look at how awesome it looks oh my goodness as you can see there you have it bloodline 09 uh, 098.9 and as you, uh, I guess this is this, yeah, as you can see you have several additional options you can play with but basically this is the latest version technically and it looks awesome yet again I have to give like a round of applause for uh, Leonard GOOG and the uh, Bloodline team awesome job so yeah uh, let's see this, this is the army painter Indeed it is. So yeah, as you can see, we have new texture. Uh, texture. Oh, look at this. Oh boy. And we have three new races, if I remember correctly. Oh my goodness. Oh, I <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think I'm not going to tease you for too long. Like <laughs> so much cool stuff right here. Oh boy. So yeah, basically it works, and hopefully you'll be able to to install it as well. So and also I I want I want to say that uh, a if you have like uh, cannot load the mod or you can't see the file, basically it means something got wrong in the installation. So if you write that in the comment section, it's not like it's basically it means like there's an error and like what error you <laughs> like basically you need to retry it something went wrong somewhere and always make sure you do everything uh, exactly as I did and you should of course end it uh, and uh, have this end result obviously so yeah so have fun installing and see ya in the next video yeah Oh, 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 oh,